Andrew Neil, 73, has unleashed his opinion on excerpts of Prince Harry's autobiography that were leaked earlier than its proposed release next week. The popular journalist took to Twitter to share his anger towards Harry as he claimed to kill 25 Taliban during his time in Afghanistan, starting an absolute nightmare. Harry's memoir, Spare, is due to be released next week but has been leaked and accidentally put on sale in Spain. In it, he reportedly claimed he killed 25 people when he was an Apache helicopter pilot during his second tour of duty in Afghanistan. In the heat of combat, the prince did not think of the 25 as people but instead as chess pieces that had been taken off the board, the Telegraph reported. Prince Harry wrote, so my number is 25. It's not a number that fills me with satisfaction, but nor does it embarrass me. Many have shared their anger at the Duke of Sussex, sharing such details, including Andrew who took to Twitter in view of one. Two million followers. He wrote, Harry's claim that he killed 25 Taliban is a nightmare, an absolute nightmare, for his security teams. How stupid can you be? Andrew then used his own father to justify his point as he said his father never spoke to him about killing the enemy. He continued, my father was in uniform against the Nazis for six years. Never once in his long life did he ever talk to me about killing the enemy. Even the concept has much fewer numbers. And he was at Alamein. On the ground. Not in a helicopter. Andrew then retweeted one social media user's comments about their grandfather's experience in two world wars. Dean underscore teach wrote, my grandfather saw service in both world wars. It's all in the past little man, was all he ever said to me. After his death, my dad said how he would hear him crying after he had gone to bed. They served their country, not themselves. Andrew also shared a link to a Spectator article titled, Sorry Harry, Good Soldiers Don't Publicize Their Kill Count. Express.co.uk has contacted Andrew Neal's representatives for comment. Harry served in the army for 10 years, rising to the rank of captain and undertaking two tours of Afghanistan. This, however, is the first time he has discussed the number of Taliban fighters he personally killed during his military service, and is likely to increase concern about his personal safety. The Duke has long been regarded as a terrorist target not only because of his royal status but also because of his two deployments to Afghanistan, which have made him a target for Islamist terrorist organizations. Last year he took legal action over the Home Office's decision not to provide full police protection for him and his family when visiting the UK. His barrister said he did not feel safe when returning to the UK after losing his taxpayer-funded security when he and his wife, Meghan Markle, decided to give up their royal duties. Spear is due for publication on January 10 but has already gone on sale in Spain, where a UK publication bought a copy. After standing back from royal duties, Harry now resides in California with his wife Meghan Markle and their two children, Archie, 3 and Lilibet, 1.